I won to the rescue. I'm on a rescue mission. We, we saw the bat signal in the sky. My buddy Mark posted the bat signal, the I won up in the sky, and we're off to the rescue. So a friend of mine who lives down the street from me actually has a Model S and he's shopping with his wife and his kids right now uh, and he got a flat tire. So what do you do if you get a flat tire? You send the rest of the family to the movies for one and you call Tesla Service. Tesla Service said that they don't have the spare tires available right to bring him out a spare tire for his car so they're going to tow his car to the Tesla store. Well, he's actually not close to home so he calls me up and he knows we got the 21 inch wheels on our car so he said, do you have a spare tire that I can borrow until, the, until we get ours fixed? Of course I have an extra tire that he can borrow. That's what we do in this Tesla family. We help each other out. I'm not gonna leave him stranded there the day before Christmas Eve on the side of the road with his family too. Right now it's uh, it's 4.20 in the afternoon on Sunday. Uh, it's starting to get a little dark already. A little cloudy, gloomy day today. Just before Christmas Eve. We're gonna head out there and uh, help Mark out. So yes, I did say we. Uh, Karen's actually in the car with me. She's being brave. She knows exactly where he's at. I don't really know exactly where he's at. He could have sent me the uh, the GPS coordinates, but uh, she, she wants to get out of the house a little bit. She's feeling a lot better. She's moving more and more every day. She's able to get up and move around. And uh, you know, maybe the fresh air will do her some good. You took the caps off already, right? Yeah, I took the caps off. I wasn't sure how long it took them to come off, so I wanted to go ahead and do something while I was waiting on you guys. Do you have a tool for that? No, I just pulled them off my fingers. Oh, okay. I never got a, I got a tool for when I bought those. Yeah. I, I don't know what he did with it. I thought that it would probably take a tool. I was a little nervous that I was able to just pull them off with my fingers. It could have been that, you know, they just had the tire off earlier, you know, looking to see if they could repair it, and then they just put them back on, so it may have been why they were so easy to come off. I don't know. That's not gonna roll. <laughs> no, it's not going anywhere. It's completely flat. Got to take it up a little higher. Yeah. My tires are probably a little bit more bald than yours. <laughs> well, that one was completely flat when we pulled it off too. So I don't know. Those tires already have ten thousand miles on them. These have twenty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about this a lot over the last hour or two hours I've been dealing with this. It's uh, it's almost worth it to have a spare tire. I mean, even if you don't carry it in your car, to have one available because, oh, you know, yeah. the way I was sucked today, if it would have been for you guys, this would have been a lot bigger issue. I mean, it's still a big issue, but it could have been a lot more yeah. painful. Would have been on a Sunday Christmas Eve tomorrow, not sure what places are going to be open and all that. Well, luckily you're off the road too though. I was at Concord Mills yeah. and I went to Firestone and first off they're telling me they're like, um, yeah, we can't do anything for you. I'm like, all right. He said, but there's a Goodyear store right across the street and you've got Goodyear tires. Maybe at least maybe they have a tire they can swap it out for you. I went over there and the guy was not very helpful at all. Really? Originally he's like... <laughs> No, we, we don't have a 19 inch tire. Those tires are so specialized for Tesla. Hardly no, anyone has a 245, 45, 19. It's such a, you know, I've had two people looking for them today. He's like, uh, we can put a little air in it for you if you want. <laughs> so I called Tesla and, you know, they were trying to find me a, someone to come out with a spare tire. Couldn't find it. And the guy's like, the guy from Tesla, he's like, I don't know why they won't work on it for you there. Just go back in there and see if you can get them to do something because uh, you're going to get towed either way whether they fix it or they don't fix it yeah. so i went back inside and talked to the guy and i finally convinced him and he pulled it off and he was like oh it's got foam inside of it we can't patch it <laughs> and i'm like dude just cut a piece of the foam off and uh yeah that's all they do and but he wouldn't do it he said no you know it's it's our reputation 
if it's um, if it's not done perfect, then you know it's us. And I'm like, I won't hold you responsible for it. I'm just trying to you know get this taken care of. She wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Once I come back out here and saw the tire was completely flat, I'm like, I'm not sure that it'll even Brian will be able to get his jack under it. I think your hockey puck did it stay under there? I, okay. Oh, okay, you got it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't put magnets on it for that reason. <laughs> actually saw it when they finally they took it out they're like oh yeah there's a nail right here and I'm like okay well let's fix it right there oh it's like well so all you got to do is pull it out a little bit of a foam put the patch on it because they don't do the ones where they pull the thing through it anymore like they used to yeah they wouldn't do that so no, we, no one does those anymore we have to put the patch on from the inside and I'm like okay we'll just cut a piece of the foam glue the patch on there and be done with it and they're like no we can't can't do it. We won't warranty it. This and that. I'm like, yeah, they're scared of these cars. Yeah. And luckily, luckily, I got him to jack it up and and take a look at it. Yeah. Got the best you can do.